بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على شرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله with the grace mercy and the permission of Allah سبحانه وتعالى بإذن الله we continue our da'wah project of Islamic integrative healing alright and uh, ru'ya and we have our new uh, YouTube channel that is our Ru'ya IIH apart from our Islamic uh, psychology channel we have more than a thousand videos in all the various channels that you can access and learn from us inshallah the whole idea is from Post-Islamic Psychology Center and Khalifa Education Foundation we are trying to transform the way we do da'wah for the 21st century in terms of motivation, coaching, mentoring Islam heart of love uh, Islamic uh, integrative healing and so on and this will entail the transformation of the ummah at self, uh, at the family, at the community, and globally. Yeah? I have given you many examples of the nature of our existence from the past. I have many, many videos. All right? And I have given you the model in which we can then understand the nature of our existence uh, in terms of the domain. And I have mentioned to you, uh, we all this knowledge are knowledge that is intrinsic with Islam knowledge that is part and parcel of the Deenul Islam that was blessed upon, revealed upon our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the prophets before them whether it's Jesus, Moses uh, and many other prophets more than 124,000 prophets these are the inner knowledge which we understand but for the last 300 years humanity has been just being given a, a lie a lie that is that we are only a physical being living in a physical material world enjoying the physical things of food, sex uh, material things like cars, aeroplane and so on but forgetting the intrinsic nature of our endless timeless being that means our spiritual, emotional and mental self so this is the knowledge that is intrinsic in us and I would like to read a simple paragraph from Ihya al -Lumadin. this is the English translation all right, in the book of worship, Al Ghazali Ikhya Ulumuddin, this is translated by Al Hajj Maulana Fazil. Kari so he tells us about this path eh, that we have to do. There is no means of the learned other than the path of the prophets, as the learned are the hairs of the prophet. The signs of practical religion are of, of two kinds, open signs of the actions of the physical senses and the secret signs of the functions of the heart. The action which keeps connection with the physical sense are the actions of habits or usage of life. The heart which comes from the unseen world and is removed ultimately from the sense is influenced by either the praiseworthy virtues or the blameworthy vices. In short, the science of practical religion is divided into open and secret sciences. The open sciences belong to the senses and is subdivided into the act of worship and the usage in life. The secret sciences keep us connected with the condition of the heart and its qualities and subdivided into praiseworthy virtues and blameworthy vices. So this is a short paragraph from Ikhila al -Mudi. This is a preface to his book eh? that we can understand that we humanity as in all for the last 300 of material physical science has brought us towards this so-called development as human being but actually we are degrading ourselves because we only depend on our existence of the physical realm and because we are in this physical realm we only thought about physical medicine or physical healing or phys for example you have psychological problems they give you some drugs some lithium whatever it is uh, to bring down, to calm you down or any other methods that is just based on the allopathic physical uh, remedies but in Islam the nature of our intrinsic self is at a higher level that means within Islam when we can synergize all the levels of our spiritual, emotional and mental self then we have an internalization of a resonance that means we have, I've given to you in before that the resonance of the heart how our cup can resonate because Allah tells us He is He is the Allah Nuru Samawati Wal Ard Allah is the Nur, the light of the heavens and the earth what is this Nur? It's not the physical light, the Nur 
That means Allah has its own uh, nature that He has infused upon us through our uh, receiving of the attributive aspects of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is a bit uh, complicated but we must understand the Quran. Allah tells us, Allah is the one who is the loving, tender friend guiding you. For those who believe, Yahruju min zulumat ilan nur. He bring you from the darkness of materialism, of denying Allah towards the like. So the like is the spiritual like, emotional and mental like. So when we we direct our kalp, the center of our emotional being and our existence, and synergize it with the roh and the mental self, you have a very powerful entity to help you lead a successful life to help you overcome all material diseases at a cellular level so this is not a metaphor this is not something like oh this is only like you know simile no this is a reality now it is proven when you have this ability to focus your thoughts uh, your emotional F F -E -T, i've given to you. you go back to my previous video your feelings f e your emotion your cup your feelings come from the spiritual realm. Your emotion, the internalization of your cult comes from your inner self. And then your mental, your akal, combined together, gives you a very focused point of uh, knowledge and point of existence and point of uh, being able to harness the in inner strength. So when you do that, when every single Muslim know the outward sciences that means outward sciences as Imam Ghazali says we have the signs of worship when we worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we go through the process of taking our wudu there's the secrets of taking the wudu Al-Ghazali explains this in very detail the secrets of Allahu Akbar when we say the tabiratul ihram the secrets of so that those are the physicality we see from the externalities but the internalization of our raw kalp and akal if we can put it together, we will be able to heal ourselves with the permission of Allah. Uh, Nothing comes except with the permission of Allah. And Allah has given this as a gift to all believers. That means Allah tells us, He gives this. Uh, he is a loving, kind guide. From all the darkness that you go through, the zoom, the difficulties, the, the, the frustration, the anguish, the sadness, the uh, greed, and all the vices. Eh? There are many vices at Imam Ghazali. Later on, as we go deeper into this, we will understand what are the worth uh, uh, vices and what are the virtues that you must imbue to be able to focus this three aspects of yours, which is a gift from Allah, and then redirect it towards, for example, healing or redirect it towards developing yourself and your family. For example, if you bring this, the nur, uh, which Allah gives us as this attributive aspect, into our life, we then we bring a wonderful family that is balanced, that is just, that is fulfilling, that is happy, that is uh, receiving the grace, the mercy of Allah, the barakah of life. Uh, uh, of risk that is halal and so on then we can talk about the ummah that is positive the ummah that is not revengeful and ummah that is full of loving kindness uh, fulfilling the nature of our existence and so on and if we direct that we are not revengeful we are not going to uh, do the evil of killing other human beings or destroying this planet earth and so many of the things that we are actually doing. The Ummah itself is now in this state of uh, loss. Uh, we, are, we are lost, but we have to bring back. And to bring back, we must bring our inner qualities. Uh, this is not a secret. That's why I'm telling you, these inner qualities is what define Islam as a religion, a deen. So these inner qualities is something that we can harness using whatever gifts that Allah has given to us in terms of our spiritual intelligence, our emotional intelligence, our mental intelligence. That means the capacity of the ruh, 
capacity of the cult, capacity of the akal, synergizing it, directing it towards influencing your cellular level, your DNA, influencing anti-aging, influencing overcoming infectious disease, influencing overcoming other diseases, influencing even in terms of motivation, coaching, mentoring, Islam heart of love, so many, the whole range of existence itself begins and ends with understanding of your intrinsic nature. You are not a material being, you are not a physical being, you are not a materialist. We are a deen of spirituality, a deen which Allah has given us the capacity to live beyond space and time. We die, we do not die actually. We just move from one dimension of the physical existence to another dimension of the everlasting existence with the hope that we get the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we go into the dimension of Husnul uh, Khatimah that means we go into the dimension of Jannah and away from the uh, dimension of Jahannam and to do that we must go back to the intrinsic nature of the understanding of how we can exercise this deen as a loving deen, as a caring deen a deen based on rahmah uh, and I'll give you small detail about the understanding of the nature of this rahmah, insha'Allah, as we move forward in the next video, insha'Allah.